Howdy everybody, Cub here, welcome back to Hermitcraft, and today guys, we are going to uh, do a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, we are going to join Mumbo's Secret Sapling Society. How's it going, Mumbo? <laughs> oh, Ender Pearls. Ender Pearls? Maybe he has more than one, I don't know. Only got two. Uh, dang. Well... Maybe soon, maybe soon. But yeah, I think in Mumbo's base, he has a few things that we can pick up, actually. And I think one of those is up in those this chest here. Or maybe... Ah, here it is. Secret Sapling Society access key. Secret Sapling Society storage system access key. Or something like that. Some, some type of acronym that's similar to that. So we're going to take this... We got a few uh, a few saplings we have to to drop off. So let's go back to our base and grab some saplings real quick, and then we'll go out to the brown section, see if we can get into this sapling society. All right, guys, making our way over to the brown section, and part of the reason that we're doing this, uh, let me just get through the portal here. There we go. So part of the reason we're doing this is because. We experienced a little bit of Logfella's retaliation the other day when they burned down all the trees near my house. Uh, and yeah, if you guys remember, we liberated that area. And yeah, then it was subsequently burned to the ground by the Logfellas. So yeah, we gotta, we gotta retaliate in some way. And this is, I think, how we're gonna do it right here. Just going into the secret uh, sapling society area. I think we just put this in here, hit this button, go back out. And I think we also have to become cleansed. Yep, there we go. And then we also have to pass this little password here. I think it's like that. There we go. Okay, now we are in. Uh, one security flaw, though. This does not close behind us once we are in. Interesting. But regardless, we have indeed made it. We're inside the Secret Sapling Society now. And we're going to go ahead and place down uh, some different, different saplings. So I think... Maybe we just go around in a circle here. Yeah, spruce and this one. Of course, we have birch, so we put 10 birch in here because we are the birch fellows. And the birch fellows do support the Secret Sapling Society. So there we go. All right, cool. So yeah, birch is the primary, <laughs> primary saplings in there. And then I think we can just exit out just like this, I believe. Hit the button to leave. And there we go. And maybe not. Let's try one time. There we go. Made it through. Beautiful. All right, Mumbo. So thank you for building that. Appreciate that. That will definitely help keep us, keep all of our saplings safe from the uh, from the log fellas. And yeah, hopefully uh, more people will contribute to that so we can have a big stockpile. Cause uh, yeah, log fellas, they gotta they gotta be stopped. So I've decided today that we're gonna focus on the charged creeper farm. And you can see where I've been mining out all of my hardened clay. This is the area here. And we are almost done. We probably need about another maybe chest, chest and a half or so of clay. So I'm just out here mining this hardened clay like crazy. So we can start to begin the charge creeper farm. Alright guys, so we got a lot of prep work to do for this charge creeper farm first of all. Um, so like I said, the charge creeper farm is in this area about 600 blocks south. So I want to make a portal out to that area. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. I got a bunch of obsidian and I think I got... Yeah, I got my flint and steel, and we also need... Just get back in here real quick. We'll probably need a bed as well, just so we don't get uh, stranded out there during the night. Um, so let's go ahead and head on out there. Uh, and yeah, I'll follow this map until I'm on it, and then we'll put down a portal out there. Alright guys, so we are in the area we're going to build our charge creeper farm in. I've showed you this map last time. Uh, this is the area we sort of determined uh, where we're going to build it on the stream. You can see the pillars up here that we got going on. Uh, that's going to be the boundaries of the creeper farm. And so, uh, in this area, basically what I'm going to do is we're going to have uh, four mob heads. So we're going to have a creeper head, a wither skeleton head, a regular skeleton head, and a zombie head all on this map. Uh, and each, each head is going to be 64 by 64, so it's going to cover the entire uh, map area. And I can actually switch this to my offhand and get like a little mini map here. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff we have to do. We first have to clear all the trees, uh, so that is the first objective. Second objective is to level all the land. I think I want to level it down to probably 
Uh, let's see here. Probably 64 or so would probably be good. Yeah, so we don't have too many hills here. We do have... We do have a small hill here, though. Well, it's not really too small, actually. It's kind of a big hill here. But, um, yeah. We'll have to clear this totally down to uh, Y level 64. So, yeah, this whole thing here is going to have to be cleared. Uh, everything else is pretty much flat, though. So, the main thing is pretty much the trees and then filling in this portion of the lake, which you can see uh, down on the lower left-hand side of the map. And as far as the orientation goes, I think we're going to orient it so that... Let's see, the heads are oriented this way. And everything's going to flow from the right to the left here. So it's going to flow toward the, the land over there where we can put our uh, catcher mechanism. Basically where we explode the charge creeper. And so first thing is, we're going to have to live up to our name of birch fellas. We're going to have to fell a lot of birch trees here. Lava sort of helped us out already here a little bit by burning out this little section. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clear out uh, all this birch. And yeah, I'll go ahead and do a little bit of a time lapse as well. And yeah, we'll see where we're at. Alright guys, so phase one of our project is now complete. We got all the trees in this area removed, and we got the wood down here to prove it. So here's all the wood we got. Um, so, yeah, quite a, bit of, quite a bit of wood there. But, uh, this next phase is probably going to be the biggest one, and that is that we have to clear all the dirt uh, from level 63 upwards. Uh, because we want a, basically a flat plane to put this on. Uh, just makes things easier. We don't really have to do it, per se. But it just simplifies things with the water streams and everything. So you don't have to be like cutting through terrain and some creepers might be ob obfuscated. And so you want to be able to see pretty much all the creepers. Uh, and you want it to be sort of elevated above the ground here. So yeah, that's the next step. Going around and clearing all the land above Y equals 63. And while I'm digging out some more stuff here at the Charge Creeper Farm, I'm going to go ahead and switch to some footage of myself and False Symmetry, as we both uh, decided to collaborate on a flower farm to uh, basically help our, our future banner shop and her dye shop. So let's go ahead and switch to that footage now. Okay guys, so we are now here with False Symmetry. Hello False. Hello Cub, how are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, I heard that you have a dye shop on the server that needs some dye. I do. It's not set up just yet. I keep meaning to to make it go live and be able to sell things. And yeah, it's pretty. I'm pretty slow, so I need All some right. help. All right. Well, I'm I'm planning to make a banner shop in a in a few episodes. So uh -huh. I think maybe maybe we go in together on a uh, a flower uh, farm. Maybe. Sounds good. Yeah. That okay. Sounds really awesome. All right. Well, there's cool. a flower forest that's just off. Uh, both there is indeed. Here. I have explored it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So I said we head on over there, and uh, we'll see exactly like uh -huh. you know where a good location is. We will. We might want to sleep before we go over there as well. It's it's definitely getting nighttime. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and sleep, and we'll meet you guys back over there. Awesome. <clears throat> so what do we have here, Cub? Well, here we have where we're. I think we're gonna build our our flower farm. Uh huh. And I think this is going to be a pretty good spot because I think we got a lot of different flowers. You know, we got we got the yeah. uh, what's this called? Azure blue. I have no yeah. idea. <laughs> Azure blue. <laughs> and mm -hmm. we got a bunch of other like tulips. Uh, we got some got allium. Poppy. Yeah, a lot, a big variety of flowers. Yeah. So I think this is this is a good spot. 
That's and good. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and get building. I think the first thing we do is just fill stuff in, and then fill we have it in. to yeah. Yeah, then we have then, to like dig an area out. Is this the second marker? This this torch here. That's the second marker. Yeah. So one okay, of the cool. markers so is big the torch. rectangular area. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Well, let's get doing that. Let's do it. So this this only works. I'm pretty sure for like well. That's a silly question. Uh, I was gonna say it, it only works for like single high flowers, but yeah. So uh, with the with the double high flowers, is that like going kind of opposite? So the double high flowers, you got a lot of options. Um, mm -hmm. So let me let me just build this real quick. This is actually really simple. This is like the simplest thing ever, basically. Okay, <laughs> you're doing high. a speed build. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's see. I think. For this one, we might need a carpet, or we could do it without a carpet. Either way, let's just build. Yeah. I'll just show you basically the concept of it. So, mm -hmm. the way this works is that you have dispenser. Oh, you literally just put the flower in front of it. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> if you you have a two for high flower, go ahead and put it in front of it. Yeah. Oh. You need some bone meal. Yeah, we need some bone meal in the dispenser there. Mhm. Mm Got it. Um, there we go. Ta da! Yeah. <laughs> Some flowers. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Well, that's, yeah. that's that's the basic premise, and then you have, uh, well, it's getting out of control. It's getting out of control. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's the basic premise of it. So you have a lever here, you turn this on, mm -hmm. and that gives you the flowers. Yeah, yeah. And there's like a lot of variation Ooh. you could do. Um, so, for instance, uh, we could. We could make it so that it's totally hidden and just yeah. The I was gonna say you can make up. it underground like you've done with the other dispensers. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do That's that. That's quite cool. Although then it's not so obvious it's a farm. It's just more like there's a flower there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Yeah, I think if we build this one, then we can work out where they the, those go. We can technically have like to either side or like them opposite, like over here. Yeah, yeah. Spread it out so it's like yeah, like mm -hmm. the whole area surrounding <laughs> the central area. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put down some of these pistons here. Uh -huh. Basically, we need pistons on both sides because, like you said, it's going to be shifting floor design. So, mm -hmm. just gonna, whoops. <laughs> not there. I was say, not downwards. <laughs> there we go. Face it over like this. We're going to have, I think, a line here. And then there should be 12 blocks. And then another line here. Yeah. Yeah. But like there. Yeah. Uh huh. Just like that. Yeah. Cool. And then we're gonna need a hopper clock here. So mm -hmm. this is where it gets kind of tricky. Got the hoppers. Yeah, I got the hoppers. <laughs> this is where I stand back and just <laughs> go ahead, cup. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna have we're gonna first have to have some stuff going into the like the side of these. Well, actually, you mm -hmm. know what? Let's build the clock first. Let's build the clock first. Yeah. So I this... technically know how to build one of them, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whole like two hoppers going into one another. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and so we're gonna have this is gonna be our input right here. Mhm. Mm so that's gonna power these dispensers. And then the clock itself will be not not here. Wrong area here I believe so this is just the standard etho hopper yep. clock <laughs> and I need a uh, redstone block there okay. are some in the chest I, uh, I brought a whole stack <laughs> oh nice yeah just come. in case you know you need like a stack of redstone blocks or something come prepared nice I think, the, I think the sun's going down again <laughs> oh is it oh no I know I have to hurry here I'll sleep <laughs> if it does all right so then we're gonna we get creepered in the in the hole Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we need something like this. And this. And then pistons. Sticky pistons. Got some. Boom and boom. There we go. So there's our oh. hopper clock. <laughs> if only I could build it that quickly. <laughs> Without having to watch a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is going to be our our, imp our, imp our output here. Whenever this block's on this block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll have torches on each side of this. So if you want to put a redstone torch on that that block there. Well, if if you've got one, oh, <laughs> I, yeah. I put all my rest of this stuff in the chest. Sorry, dude. There you go. Um, on that that side. On that side, perfect. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. And then, uh, what we got to do 
is make sure have I built this wrong? <laughs> One, two. <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta count these blocks here. Make sure there's twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, now we need to do this. We need to basically make it so that these pistons self-update whenever this torch turns on or off. Okay. So we're going to have to dig a line behind here so we can easily okay. hide this later on. So yeah. it's not going to be visible. Whoops. Oh, impulse is sleeping. <laughs> nice. That's always surprising because I think he's just AFK all the time, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And so, false. I'll give you these. Mhm. Mm I'll give you some torches here. Oh, and thank what, you. what you're gonna do? You're going to on all these stone bri stone bricks I'm putting down. Mhm. Mm gonna go ahead and put down torches on all those. Except except on the on the on the underside. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, neat. Wait. Oh, on underneath. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I saw. I remember. Because you sent it in the screenshot. Like so. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. On the other side as well. Um, on the other side, we can, uh, yeah, do the same thing on the other side. So just, yeah, put mm -hmm. like stone bricks or something so we know where the line is. And yeah, we'll just do that. Oh. One did update, though. Oh, did, did it? Did it? Oh, has it not got a... Wait, what? <laughs> I think uh, did, was there there's a was there a block missing in the middle? What's that? Was there a block missing in the middle of dirt? Oh yeah, because the because uh, of the hole where the dispensers are. Uh, dis oh yes. yeah, dispensers are. <laughs> so it covered it up, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah. 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 I was no. like, I don't know what. Yeah. We'll just put one back like that, and then mm -hmm. I guess we'll just break this one for now. Whoops. Yep. And then put the dirt back. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Piston orientation. There we go. Perfect. Ta-da. Cool. All right. Cool. And then we just got to, on this line, we're going to do the same thing here that I did on the other side. So we're just going to cool. put redstone up here. And that's all it needs to update. That should be it, yeah. Okay, cool. Next step is to A put down... There. Yeah. Blocks there. Okay. And so we want to have comparators coming out of these, mm -hmm. like this. And so this will detect if there's anything in here. Yep. And then we need, yeah, like, like you said, block there. And then this is going to basically, well, here, actually, we should probably, should probably. Yeah, do you want to dig it out and put the blocks there so that we know where the redstone is? We should probably do this instead, I think. Probably just put dust okay. here. Yeah. And then do this. Because this this will basically make it so that um Yeah, this torch will turn off whenever there's anything mm -hmm. in here. So then we can run this back to this first hopper right here. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that'll basically turn it uh turn it off or sorry, yeah, turn it on whenever Whenever we don't want it on. <laughs> that, make, that didn't make any sense, did it? <laughs> <laughs> it, means, it made sense, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Falls, so we got everything, I think, pretty much set down here. We have. It looks pretty complicated, but awesome. Yeah. It's, every every <laughs> every component is not too complex, but together it's, no. it's, a, it's a little bit it's a little bit more than yeah. just basic looking stuff. Looking at it now it's done, it's complicated, and I'd find it hard to recreate. But looking at you just, like, building it, yeah. You can understand what all the, the parts are for. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, basically what we got is we got this chest up here. This is our input. Mm-hmm. Right, so this chest here, this is where we put all our bone meal. And that's all you got to do. You just got to put bone meal in there, and the, the farm does the rest. So it's pretty convenient. That's pretty convenient. Shall I, shall I try it out? Yeah, go ahead and let's... This let's, is the first time putting bone meal in here. Yep. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if it works. It's taking the bone meal. Yep. Do they have to take all of it? Oh, no. You might have to change up some of the timing a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, we'll have to change the timing a little bit. So maybe we put... Let's put a few more items in here. Yeah, let's see. So. Try it a little slower, maybe. 
How's that working? That's, that's quite slow, yeah. There are no flowers or anything, but yeah. <laughs> oh. What the world? That's crazy. Hold on. That is Hold crazy. On. We are definitely in a flower forest, guys. <laughs> if we're honest. Hmm. Where's he taking the bowman to? Oh, the bowman's in the stone, so it's just not going up. Yeah. How do we do that? Let's see. Oh, here we go. We got it. We fixed it. Hooray! There's flowers. <laughs> <laughs> flowers out of nowhere. Yeah. Beautiful. Very nice, yeah. So what does happen if I jump on it? I guess I fall through. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Oh, I was hoping you'd just tell me and I wouldn't have to. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I'm still on top. I'm collecting flowers. You're floating on top of it, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just that fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, that's that. That's quite a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. It obviously makes quite a lot of seeds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A few white tulips, you've got orange tulips, you've got red tulips, and you've got the azure bluet. There azure bluet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to pronounce it properly. <laughs> Yeah, so that gives us quite a quite a few flowers. So that's decent, it does. decent amount. Good colors as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, did you want to like work on? Should we, should we work on like making it look a bit prettier? Yes, that's the yeah. Well, let's definitely work on making it a little prettier. Uh, we mm -hmm. gotta you know cover up all this redstone on the side here, on the other side. I think we gotta basically make this come yeah. in one because there's a sort of a gap here. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then yeah, across the front we gotta make sure. This stuff doesn't really come up. Mm -hmm. Or we could actually add another row of pistons if we wanted to. Right here. Could do. I don't know how much of a mess that would make, though. <laughs> nope, just another, uh, uh, another block. Yeah, that wouldn't... Wouldn't, wouldn't... affect very much, no. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think we'd do that. So let's let's make yeah. it look better and see, uh, see how it turns out. Cool, let's do it. All right, guys, so we got a uh, bunch of work done here. We got the flower farm mm -hmm. up and running. We got the too high flower farm up and running on the side here. We have. We, dude, there's, a, there's a whole bunch done. This looks really awesome, actually. Yeah, I really like it. Yep, yep. And it's cool. And yeah, these these work, these work pretty well. It's so, so yeah. simple. Is there anything underneath? Yeah, there's it's some just, the, just, just two torches. Just a redstone. Two torches and a redstone dust, and that's... There you go. That's all that's you it. need. That's all you need. Just right there. If only yeah. I knew these were that simple, I would have just made these everywhere. <laughs> yeah, very, very simple. Very I might now do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put them everywhere. You know, you have, you know, like a flower shower, basically, just where it just rains <laughs> yeah, down on just, you. Just sit yeah. inside the flower and just <laughs> covered in flowers. Great. Yep. Cool. Yep. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think uh, what we're going to do, actually, though, is we don't really have a path up to here just yet. So we're planning on kind of sharing that out. I'm going to do the path and then, Cub. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna do the uh, the staircase bit down. Yeah. So we're gonna right. Technically, we've got a bit of a path going on on this side, which is pretty cool. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. have it going over the roof, and then it's gonna follow these blocks, basically. <laughs> yep. We're gonna follow this and, back to town, pretty much. Uh huh. And you're gonna build a staircase like up. Well, I'm pointing to it, so you'll yeah, have to point gonna, to it too. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna like zigzag down the side of the mesa a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be cool. Should sort of like. You know, circle around back yeah. on itself a few times, so... Yeah, yeah, and I don't think anyone's base is, like, directly above that, so... Yeah, should should work out fine. Yep, I think so. There you go, awesome. So, thanks for inviting me to join you in this project, because, uh, I have nothing... I have no idea about flower farms, so... Oh, no, no worries, <laughs> There's no, no worries, way yeah. I would have been able to make one myself, so... Yeah. Pretty awesome, and that will mean that my dye shop can be up and running in your banner shop, if you're making one. Absolutely, yeah. Will be. Yeah, we'll yeah. have plenty, plenty of dyes and stuff, and then we also got this seed disposal. I don't think I showed this, but this basically. Oh yeah, yeah. Basically deletes oh, anything. The rest don't. <laughs> yeah. There so now, go. now it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, rip. R.I.P. Redstone. Uh, yeah, and then these are all the flowers and stuff you can get here, which is pretty cool. That's a, that's a really nice selection. That is pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I put leaves in there as well because why not? While you're here, plant a few oak trees and then get a whole bunch of leaves while you're waiting. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Uh huh. And then that's where you put bowmill, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't right. have any on me to show, but <laughs> you guys know how it works. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Pauls, awesome. thanks for joining me, and uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it yeah. for me, guys. Thanks. It was awesome. I'll yep. catch you later. Catch you later, Pauls. Bye.
So a huge shout out to Fall Cemetery for helping me make the flower farm. That's going to help us both out quite a bit in our shops, uh, our banner shops and False's dye shop. Uh, as far as terraforming goes, we got a lot done. We got this whole section over here complete. Uh, still obviously have a big mountain we need to clear out right here and a little bit more uh, this way. Uh, by the way, I'm keeping all the stuff we get because, yeah, dirt is valuable because we're in a mesa. And, yeah, of course, we got the wood from the trees. We got more dirt. We got more dirt. More dirt and cobble. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have a lot of resources after we're done clearing this area out, uh, which will be useful for actually helping us to build the thing. Uh, also, I just wanted to show you one last thing over here. That is the portal we put over here. So this portal leads back through the nether to our house here. I'll just show you. Let's head on through here. I like this map in the offhand, by the way. Thank you to those of you guys who suggested I do that. Uh, but yeah, this basically leads back here. That portal down there goes to a mega taiga biome. And then we just follow this back here. Skip back around here. And we turn right. Whoops, rubber band. Turn right right here. And this goes to our portal and our base right up here. So if I go through this... There's our nether hub in front of us right there. And then this just leads back to... Yep, Falsa's base, Spar's base, and then our base is in the in the cliffside right there still. So guys, I think that is going to be all for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.